Okay, so basically, I'm gonna give you like a tutorial on how to upload aesthetic fonts because I just gave you this video. So, you know, let's like <laughs> check out this video for some of the fonts that I use. We, we, okay, this, I'm just gonna give background on this video. It took me forever. It took me, it took, this video took me like three to four days just because of Pixlr's new update like three exports a day and then if i mess up one of the texts i use one of them and i can't get it back i have to wait i just have to wait till the next day so let's just like i have all these fonts already so i can't really like use them but let's just search up aesthetic to use Roblox. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Aesthetic fonts are locked. And then like all Velva or something. Called it. And I'm just gonna watch like all Velva. Like the all Velva bit video. Like I'm just gonna go in here. And then pick one that I don't have already. Um. I have a lot of these. Okay. You just like download it. From Defont, and then you have this file. Now, I don't use like this. Okay, so then once you do this file, you open it, and then you have this, and then you like. You have to make like a separate folder to like do it. Like I'll do like a quick tutorial on how you like make it. You just like select your font, like the T. Some fonts come with a TTF or a TTOTF. Whichever one, both of them works. Like I know some come with more than one, where it's like they have like different ones where like one is thicker, one is thinner. Like one is like, I don't know, like one is like thin and one isn't. Like, some of them have more, this one just happens to not. So you just, like, copy to that folder. And then you can close that out. And then go to Pixlr. You click text. Add new text layer. Add. And then you click your font. And then you click add local font. I didn't like how the OBS uh, voiceover was, so we're doing it this way. So basically you select your folder like the folder with all of your fonts or that you're gonna put all your fonts in and then you select the font that's it it's super confusing when it's just a voiceover but paired with visuals you should understand i'm sorry if you don't i will try and respond to your comments and questions so just please leave them down below Bye bye